Millions of traders are about to get absolutely wrecked in these markets, and while most people remain very bullish, there are some major warning signs that we need to be paying attention to right now. So stick around till the end of the video. I'm going to be talking about what we need to be ready for, also what trades we can be looking for. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications because we are bringing you the juiciest and the most timely Bitcoin updates here on YouTube. And first of all, the Bitcoin price is currently forming a symmetrical triangle pattern as well as we are getting a breakout and a retest of this upper trend line. And one thing that really sticks out to me throughout this entire range of consolidation since Saturday is we have been printing what is known as a bullish CVD divergence. What does this mean? This means there is a lot of selling pressure coming into the markets here. We can see based on our CVD and our open interest that people are opening up new short positions. And although new short positions are opening, a lot of selling pressure is coming in, the price is unable to make a lower low. In fact, it's consecutively making higher lows. And what this is showing us is that there are some bigger players down here. Some people call them whales, right? I'll draw a little picture of a whale here that are sitting here absorbing the retail traders who are entering short positions. And these whales are building up long orders to potentially push the price more to the upside. So at first glance, this does look very, very bullish. However, there are two things we really need to be aware of. First of all, Bitcoin has pumped up about 45% in the last two weeks, and we are coming to a major area of resistance, $29,000 to $30,000 level. Why is this such a major area? Because this has been clear support for a two-year range, very, very strong level. And if Bitcoin is going to get a major pullback, it's going to be happening from this level. Now, does this mean I'm getting ultra bearish? No, of course, it doesn't mean I am getting ultra bearish. In fact, I'm still holding the swing long trades. I'm in multiple swing longs. These are the levels that we gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord from 19552. And then we've been giving longs consecutively in the Casper Crew as well. And by the way, if you want to join the Casper Crew, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. And if you want to trade with 0% limit fees on Bybit, a great deal. Check out the link in the description. Of course, only if you know how to trade. If you don't know how to trade and you try to trade on Bybit, well, you're going to stub your toe. You're going to get a flat tire. Your boss is going to fire you and you'll drop your cell phone in a dirty public toilet. So don't trade on Bybit if you don't know what you're doing. If you want to learn, 20% discount on the course at jasoncaspertrading.com. I'm not getting overly bearish here. The reason why is because we are clearly in bullish market structure on the week. We are seeing the bearish divergences being invalidated on our oscillator, and we are starting to see the money flow curve to the upside on the week, which historically is one of the most powerful macro signals that we could possibly imagine. However, we cannot go up forever. And as we got a big impulse to the upside, we ended up with a pullback. We're going to get eventually another pullback. That's just how price action works. So if that's going to happen, it's going to happen right here from right around this area. So we need to be very much so prepared. We are also seeing the greed and fear index at a level that it has not been since the time that Bitcoin was about to reach its all-time high. Right now, you can see that most people are very greedy in these markets. The fear and greed index is at 68. If we take a look at the history of this index, we can see that we had not seen a level at 68 since around October 2021. What this means is that people are getting very, very greedy. People are expecting these gravy trains to keep on running. People are expecting the pump to keep on continuing. And we need to understand that when the majority of people get very bullish and retail starts FOMOing into an asset, it makes the perfect scenario for whales to trade in the opposite direction. And as we can see, we are coming up to a very major area of resistance. And oftentimes we see whales trap retail at major levels of resistance or support also tomorrow. We have the FOMC rate hike announcement. This is key. The Fed right now has to make a very difficult decision. Do they want to increase interest rates, which will wreck more banks, or do they want to keep interest rates the same, which will basically undo so much of the quantitative tightening that they've been doing for the past year? If the Fed comes out and raises interest rates, 25 basis points, or is even more hawkish and raises interest rates, 50 basis points, we could have a perfect storm for a major, major pullback here. However, if the Fed comes out with bullish news and does not raise interest rates at all, and right now we can see that the market, the people who are betting on this right now are, are kind of pricing in that they're going to raise interest rates by 25 basis points. Of course, this has been the most volatile target rate probabilities 
chart that I have seen ever. Like we're seeing this change by the hour like crazy. If the Fed comes out with bullish news and does not raise interest rates, that could also lead to a perfect storm because people will be FOMOing in long positions here right into a major area of resistance. Okay, so this is going to be tomorrow at 2 p.m. This will be announced. I will be live streaming for the volatility. It's going to be a really good time. Make sure to come by the live stream. We do need to keep in mind, guys, that the dollar right now is showing major signs of weakness, which is long term bullish for Bitcoin. So I'm still maintaining a very bullish bias as the dollar is losing key support uh, and looking like it's on a trajectory back down to the low of the range, where, by the way, the Bitcoin bull cycle topped out when the dollar is at the low of the range and the Bitcoin cycle bottomed out as the dollar was putting in its high. So what do we need to be looking for right now? Well, there are some major key zones of support and resistance that we need to be aware of. If we go to our 24 minute time frame, we can see that if we are going to get a move to the downside, the major zones of support that we have locally are going to be first the Fibonacci golden pocket that comes around $26,900. This is a major level of confluence. And so if we get a major move to the upside and then a rejection, we could be looking here for somewhat of support. We also have a level at around 26,600, which is a key zone of support as well. And then we do have some other levels to the downside. If we come down a little bit more, we do have a major zone of support around $25,000. To the upside, we do need to be aware of the very important area of resistance that we have between $29,000 and $30,000. If price comes to one of these areas after the news is released tomorrow, what we want to do is we want to look at our chart and determine, do we have a trade set up? Yes or no. And what I like to do is I like to look for something called a divergence on my oscillator. What that means is if price is going to make a lower low into one of these boxes of support and on our oscillator, I like to use market cipher B. I am seeing a pattern like this, where as the price is getting lower, the momentum waves are getting higher, giving us that very juicy butt cheek pattern with the juicy left cheek and the skinny right cheek. It's called a bullish divergence right here. Okay. If we see this start to happen, then we can know that we are going to get a bounce from that level. If we don't see it, we can expect lower. And the opposite is true if we get a good pump to the upside. If we get a good move to the upside and we're seeing bearish divergences where the momentum waves are getting lower over time as the price is getting higher, let's say we do something like this, right? We're seeing the momentum waves getting lower as the price is getting higher into a major zone of resistance. Well, that is giving us the upside down uneven butt cheek pattern then we can look to take a short trade. This very key that we just wait for price to get to a level and then make an informed decision. We don't want to be the millions of traders that get wrecked, chasing price, trying to catch what the news is going to do. That is it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And uh, look at this. We're ending the video on such a great picture. May God bless everybody. In the name of Jesus, the Messiah, even if you're not religious, and I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.